Welcome back everyone, I'm the Depressed Dior, and this is Blood Ball Chaos Edition. Uh, we slaughtered the un the Underworld team, and now we're going up against the Elf team. This will actually be my second attempt, because quite frankly, I I exited the game. I raged quit. Because I rolled, once again, I rolled nothing but once in the very beginning of the match. And it seems to be happening every match now, and I'm getting tired of it. So, yes, I'm restarting this match. So, you can call him foul or whatever, but I don't care. I'm just so tired of just rolling ones. Double ones on my very first action, every time. Needless to say, it happened a lot. To the point where I was pretty much down multiple players, and that they didn't actually have to do anything. I just literally rolled double ones, and I KO'd myself multiple times. So, whatever. So, let's just prepare for the match. They're going to get 80,000 gold. They're not going to spend it on anything, because they're not smart. But it doesn't matter, because they always roll fine, I roll once. So yes, I am raging. But yeah, essentially I rolled uh, double ones. I, I rolled double one on the chainsaw, KOing himself. I rolled uh, double ones on a going for it with my... Uh, I think it's my Fanatic. Getting an automatic KO'd there. It was just bad all around. I couldn't do anything. You know what? I'm not angry anymore, because you know what? This is a different pitch. Uh, for the, for the uh, rage quit, I was on the stupid winter pitch. So guess what? You guys get a new pitch? So that's the reason. There you go. Because I want a different pitch. Anywho, um, there's not really much to worry about this team, assuming you don't suck and don't roll horribly. Um, See, now we can actually, like, see the text without me having to highlight it all the time. It's awesome. I'm a winter pitch. Um, but they have a lot of stat-ups for whatever reason. Um, but it's mostly just movement allowance and an armor value. And, um, it's really the only thing that of note is their thrower that has leader and sure hands, and then a blitzer that has dodge. Those are the biggest threats, or should be the biggest threats. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and do what we did, um, in the previous match. Uh, originally... On the, my previous attempt on this, I had I started with the ball, or I started receiving, but not this time. Hey, Monty, I haven't like seen you in forever, or I've, I might have seen you, but I wasn't paying attention. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start with the bombardier, just because, because they're funny. But uh, besides that, there's not much we can really do. This is an elf team, and they're receiving, so this is gonna be kind of annoying. But that's okay. Also, we have Cloth, who has Block, which is awesome. Oh, come on. Here, swap it. You guys so there and there. And I'll just go there. Something like this. Actually, I wouldn't mind just... I wouldn't mind just pushing forward a little bit, but uh, I know that AI is just going to put someone next to him. So, okay, that'll be it. And once again, I apologize for the rage quit, but, like I said, when I roll the same things over and over again, I get very annoyed. Then it just makes the match very predictable. It's like every match I start rolling horribly and then I pull through in the end. It'd be nice to not have to rely on such ridiculousness. Uh, perfect defense. I can reposition my players. And... This is the annoying thing about uh, Cyanide Bloodfold. When you get perfect defense, it shuffles your entire thing. For no reason. So I gotta reposition all my players again. And they're gonna be on that side. So we're just gonna push these guys forward now. Because we can. Alright. Dodge. The player gets hold of the ball. There go, there's a thrower. Uh, they only have two reader rolls, but they do have leader, so they do get a third one. Sorry, I didn't read off their stats. They had like three chair leaders in my apothecary and only like four fan factor. Despite that, I still don't have any fame. So they're caging up. 
I like this shit. Oh, and now they kill themselves. Oh, that's... They, he tried dodging right through here for some reason. Whatever. Okay, well... Oh yeah, that's right, I don't have my fan attack. Good news is, we have block. Which means we can do stuff. I know, that's vague, isn't it? Alright, first things first. We're gonna... Ugh. I wish I could dodge, but I'm pretty sure I'll fail it. They have a catcher over here. All the catchers have nerves of steel. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and start with our block guy. And fail. We're just gonna cover you for now. Hope you KO yourself again or something. I could have taken block. This is uh, Cloth. He has block, and I screwed that up. Wonderful. Oh well. Uh, what I can do, though. What I will be de doing. There we go. Corruption so widespread that the referees guild has set up is rules concerning oh, where, when, admit. how one can accept a bribe. Under an agreement signed last season, the clubs are not allowed to offer less than the going rate. I would try doing it going for it, but my luck with it last time was not that great. Ouch! That punch knocked his you down. feet down his throat! Yes, dear man, that's never a nice sight. So we're gonna make our move all the way over here. And I'm gonna do... Oh, that's right, I used my blitz already. That's okay. We're just gonna move on up then. And end our turn. Alright, so they are gonna... Their alignment's not a receiver. These are L, so they all have four decks. Catching up. Hey, you made your dodges. Congrats. One die block. Of course, it's a defender down, because it's always a defender down. Alright, first things first. More than likely they'll pass to this catcher, and it's going to succeed. There's not much we can do about it, unfortunately. I have block. That face Goodbye. job is a lot cheaper than a plastic surgeon. I don't know if he planned it, but it won't do him any harm in the looks department. Right 
kind of moving away because I'm about to do something stupid. But it'll be wonderful nonetheless. I'm going to go ahead and cover this catch up some more. That year, they trained with a giant black war wolf. Oh, yeah, the wolf ate six players and then ran away into the swamps with the only ball they had. Some teams have no luck. He's intercepted the ball. Beautiful luck. Who's he passing it to? Oh, he's passing it back to Eater of Worlds. He has re-roll. Nice flying pass. Bravo. <laughs> what did I roll on that? Three's three. Oh well. Why are you oh are you blitzing him? I can choose who can intercept, doesn't really matter because they're all in tackle zones. Disastrous pass. Yeah, Jim, he made things difficult for himself. But he actually failed the throw, of all things. It was a kind of a long throw though, so no surprise there. Alright, just get up. I need you to be up. I want to get you in position over here. And I need you to pick up the ball. Actually, you can pick up the ball. And then do a handoff. Oh, no, another one who actually plays the ball. The ball changes hands. That'll do nice. Okay. Did you know that according to Spike Magazine, the number one all-time worst player award was Specky McGrone? Who? A goblin who played only one season. Can you believe it? 30 fumbles in a season, averaging more than two per match, including a record nine fumbles in his last match. He was finally pulled apart. What do you expect? Take you down? Yep, upside down. That's one way to look at things. Yay, block. Now yeah. That player is going to add a new scar to his collection. That's why they're always on the front page of Spike magazine. Oh, when I blocks cuz they're stupid. Now you guys are stuck, but that's all right. I'm just going to move on up. You can move over there. I seem to do better without secret weapons almost at this point. That's mainly because Sarno and Masara are freaking awesome. Some high quality throwing plays today, Jim. Indeed, we can, Bob. Hopefully Not quite some high quality of throwing well. plays. Yes, Jim. It's all about the climate. Okay, so. Is a dead three dive block. Yes, we roll it. Boom! In the face! And then followed by a clean uppercut. Well done! Supposedly, the Bombardier becomes like insane once you get Hail Mary pass, but uh, you have to first get them a level up, and second, you have to roll a double, which isn't particularly fantastic. Looks like there was some bad blood between those two, eh, Bob? Yeah, Jim. Something to do with swapped body parts. Just inch on up a little bit. Dodge. And goodbye you. Mm, what violence! Yes! It's a great spectacle, Bob. Did you 
you'll hear about Helmet, Tough as Nails, Wolf, the madly sadistic chainsaw swinging star. Oh, he's still ready to hire himself out, even if it means scything lizard men's heads whose scales, as he always complains, damage his chainsaw. All for the love of sport. Full-blooded, but perfectly legal. Well, that's one with a good reason to go see the apothecary. Yeah, looks like he's gonna need a good one. Take him down, but I'm not really doing much else. We, know the opponent we did one injury at least. That was just a lineman, though. And they do have two backups. Alright, if I can just inch up a little bit more. They're red hot. A majority of supporters this is a little bit risky. should take measures to prevent the small minority or whatever, of it's my drive, from so. watching a match from the terraces. They've got a point. If they don't want to join in the fun, they might as well stay home and watch it on cable vision. He sent him down for a chat with the Astro Granite. against me. So I guess I'll be sitting right here for now. their special thrower. Um, first roll is dead, then he used Apothecary and got uh, Smash Knee instead, which is a niggling injury, which means he gets it's even easier to injure him now. Um, but uh, since he didn't get badly hurt for the uh, Apothecary roll, um, he's still out of the game, so we don't have to worry about him anymore. Awesome. Go after the blitzer, but I'm Dublin not. Is really endemic in this sport. Isn't it written into the game rules? Oh, I have block. This player was really strong. Do, 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 do you think they have some troll blood in them? Mm, could be. Or maybe his opponent shouldn't speak that way about the family. Let's go ahead and send um, Eater of Worlds up here. Because I want to go ahead and get him a, uh, get him a level up. And if that were, if he gets uh, if he doesn't get a double, I'll retire him and uh, replace him with someone else. He doesn't have no hands, does he? Okay, yeah, he's fine. Everyone else is good. Okay, so I can just... Yeah, we're good. I'm just gonna pass it over to him. Boing, 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 boing. Okay. That's done. And turn. Remember the 
2503 season saw the retirement of one of Blood Bowl's favorite killers. I'm gonna wait one more turn, of course. Eight great seasons finally hung up his jeans. It looked off more heads than any other chainsaw in history, including a massive 14 DK. Sorry if the uh, crowd's a little too loud. It always is. Oh, I got KO'd anyway. I was trying to push him on the ring, as always. KO'd you. And I can go and cover you next. Five KOs. They're probably gonna get a lot of them back. It's usually how it goes. Hey, Barnes. Let's go ahead and do some fouling. Yeah, I'm only stunned. Alright. Oops. Oh, okay, I already moved to the next turn. I think. Yeah. Alright, I'm not gonna take any actually. What do we got? You got blocking guard? Okay. This is what happens when you both have block, they just clash. I've never actually seen the Bombardier uh, score before, so that's a new animation. We'll go ahead and keep this one video. Consider my apology for rage quitting. I got back one guy. Yep, one guy. So they're down six players, which means there are eight players left. We have lost no one. We lost our Bombardier. That's about it. So gets around. And the players trot back onto the pitch after a well-deserved vitamin cocktail. So let's try this again. This is kind of the setup I had before. Let's see how that pulls through. Go back a little bit. Actually, you don't need to go back that far. You're not the block guy. Every who's now the, who's again, my block Blood guy? Bowl throws up a real mixed bag of a team. Like the motley horde. This made up of a bunch of misfits. Yeah, can't be easy to coach those cast offs every day of the week. Alright, let's get this going. The ball's in play. Uh they get an extra team reroll. They don't get their leader reroll anymore because they lost their uh, thrower. Alright, we're just gonna get things started here. KO'd. Wow, you're doing a lot better than you were before. Come on, get out of the way. I can't click here until that body disappears. It's very annoying. Okay, that's good. What do you got? You have Garden Black Tackle. Nice left punch. Goodbye. Right on the nose. Sure was, Jim. It's broken now. 
Just gonna go ahead and pick up this ball. The player has got the ball, and now he's the main target. So I didn't roll really stupid as well. So I'm it's already been doing better than my previous attempt. Okie dokie. So we actually have a blitz to use. Also, we outnumber these guys like insanely amount. So um. Look over there, some cute little elf. Giant selling big moves. Yeah. Hey, we're actually I'll working. I'll be back in five minutes. Amazing. So now you like big mood sandwiches? Yeah, no way. A little elf? Yeah. Okay, and that's good enough. Anyone that's about to level. Actually, both of you. Wow, Reyes the Warrior. I certainly wouldn't mind having more block than sidestep. So, we'll see how that goes. I think two sidestep uh, goblins is more than enough, so I might go ahead and retire one of them. Um, I think I didn't mention this already, so um, if, you, if you get doubles and you pick like one of those double skills, um, they are worth more team value than a regular skill. So if you actually look at, um, for example, where is he? Kalof, he has a double skill. He's actually worth 70 team value right now. And um, while Louis has only a regular skill, which is sidestep, and he's worth only 60. So, you know, just FYI. Whee. You're just gonna do this, aren't you? Yes, you are. Oh well. Did you hear about the evil gifts? The team that is made up of the mix of evil players? You have uh, one okay. of the most evil supporters of the year award. Fully merited from what I've seen. Reroll it. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I have rolled triple skulls before. In fact, more often than I would like to admit. That's one regulation clobbering. So we can just move up here. And our next thing. over here. I don't have, uh, I'm not going to make any going for it, so it's just not worth the risk. Instead, I'll make a dodge. There we go. And you can just move up. I could have made a one die block, but I'm not going to. That's what happens with a pro process and amateur. Yes, splotch. Ooh, take a look at how they prance, Bob. That's called sidestepping, Jim, which the elves are masters at. Still looks like prancing to me, Bob. Getting up on, uh... Sure does, Jim. Yeah, pushed. That's fine. Sidestep is actually a really good skill, which is why the, the blitzers for this team is actually having both block and sidestep gives them a really good, a very strong combination. All right, first things first, we're gonna start with our fanatic. You think you'll be able to get up after that blow, Jim? Oh yes, he's not the sort to stay down. Let's go ahead and make a going for it. I don't know if we really mm. like that uppercut. He may not have liked it, but he certainly ate it. All right. Yeah, those going forts is why I raged quite originally, so I probably shouldn't be doing them. 
Okay, you have block. Yes, go ahead and move forward. You have block as well. You suck! And you suck too, because you rolled a two. I am running out of people. There we go. What a hammer blow! We don't see much of the heroes of law these days. I don't know. For any spectators who aren't aware, the heroes of law hope to show the world a better way by honest, strategic play on the pitch. It's probably a good thing we don't see them. I can. Actually, what I could do is send Juliana up and see what happens. She's about to level as well, and I might. If she levels again and doesn't get anything too fantastic, I'll probably replace her. You and the van just head over here. And there you go. Let's go ahead and uh, end the turn. My loony's been disappointing this, uh, this game. Anastasis is always awesome, though. As long as you're not doing going for it. Oops, there he goes him. You have block. Let's go ahead and just uh, nudge you guys out of the way. in the 91 final against Reitland. You back oh, yeah. up? You kneecapped him. Alright. The referee's guild has decided to hire a bodyguard for each game. Another brilliant God, awful rolls. And just how effective Luckily I have grabs, so I can just move them out of the way and not towards my own uh, ball carrier. Could be a bit one-sided. So that's done. Go ahead and move you down to here, just in case. So I'm about to use this loony. This player has there we go. Box and gives rather generously. Make sure that wasn't really smart. Here, you come back down. I'm already trying to score when I shouldn't be. Because if I score, I lose all my I lose all my secret weapons. And I want to keep my numbers advantage. No comment on that. Quagmire incident when rampant spell casting caused the entire Bright Crusader Stadium to go and cover this the tower. Nobody could forget that. People were blinded for miles around the stadium. Ouch! Have a nice sleep. Little baby gets his medicine and he's having a little nap.
they have uh, five elves. Yeah, they have five elves on, on the pitch. We still have our full 11, so this shouldn't be an issue for us. This is generally how you're supposed to play goblins. You're supposed to use all your secret... You can. Well, there's a few ways you can do it. Uh, the ones I've seen, or guides I've read, it's generally go with um, all, uh, your most deadly uh, secret weapons first. Uh, and make the drive last as long as possible and just kill as many of them as possible and uh, hope it pulls through that way. But sometimes that's easier said than done. Here. Let's do the handoff right now. Go, 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 go! Okay, good. Down, Bob, down, boy. Just take the pills. And from there, we can just do whatever we want. Right, chainsaw this guy. You're assuming then that he had something between Oh yeah, I can begin. move around, can't I? I rolled the double on the armor value, so that means the ref caught me. But I don't mind. I'm gonna score next turn, so... So I don't screw up here. over. Well, they get one turn. Five players on the pitch. That's it. The ball's in play. There's gonna be trouble. I've heard of teams that have simply disappeared after being abandoned by their supporters. Let's say that some teams who haven't won a match for several years have been tied up by their fans and thrown into rubbish containers. It's the only way to end a downward spiral. Hold still and then pow! Right in the face! There we go, match over. I'm just glad that we have a different pitch. I was really tired of that winter one. Okay, so they're bigger. Maybe roll the winning, sure. But where did that get? 
Alright, uh, no change to our fan factor, because quite frankly these guys are lower level than us. Um, our MVP went to Clough. They had the majority of possession. So many whatever. Okay. Which just goes to show that so we got ourselves another level up. They would have been better off to take care of the opposition. Juliana, let's see what you got. He was the best player Plus out one there. agility, on wow. Own, he could not deliver a win. Yeah, the coach that is would have to almost be worth it. During the whole match, they made sure that the opposition kept to their side of the halfway line. So, we're in for a dope-free match. But I think I'm going to go ahead and retire her. I don't know. Actually, we'll take the agility. So now, it's just, now it's our only four agility goblin. Now it has a value of 100. Let's see, we have sidestep, sidestep. Oh, our bomb. Oh yeah, our bombardier leveled as well. Let's take a look. Check skill. All we can take is these. Um, we didn't roll a double, so we're gonna go ahead and replace our eater of worlds. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Yes, uh, release Eater of Worlds. I said, yeah, this is literally what all guides tell you. If you, if your um, Bombardier does not roll a double on the first level up, drop him and get a new one. So I'm fine with that. So drop him, purchase player, Bombardier. And we are going to be called uh, Eye of... Well, let me make sure the spelling's right. Eye of Cthulhu. As always, I pick a name from the same game if possible, which in this case it is. So, buy that. Okay, so we got ourselves Eye of Cthulhu now. Hopefully he'll be... well... Eater of Worlds was alright, he had his high moments. Louis doing alright. Alright, I need to drop a... Let's see, I have... I think I have three sidestepping players. I only really need two. Actually, I don't really need any, but... How much SPP do you have? Nine, you have eleven. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and drop Elise. Actually, no, we'll drop Louie. Pretty sure Louie wants to spend his money now. So yeah, we'll go ahead and drop Louie. That'll get our team value down another 20 points or so. So let's do that. Drop Louie. And we'll purchase another uh, goblin. Alright, we've. You are gone, so. Who should we get next? I say we get the other cheapskate. Elin. Alright, so we're back to 15 players. Our team value is 1,500 now. Ah, uh, we need to we need to fix this uh, team roster. I think the big deal is the fact that our Pogor has so much uh, sure feet plus movement and sprint. Honestly, we don't need all that, which kind of sucks because I kind of like that name Inconsequentia, but. Uh, Alright, yeah, we're gonna have to drop the Pogor and uh, get a new one. And that'll get us a little bit more points back. So, sorry, Inconsequentia, you're gonna be retired. So, let's go ahead and fire our Inconsequentia. Purchase new player. We want a Pogor. And we will name you. Another character from the same game, Dreadmore. Gee, I wonder what game he's from. That should be it. So we have Dreadmore instead of Inconsequentia. Which is fine, because quite frankly we needed to drop our team value. And quite frankly, we weren't really using the skills that we got besides maybe the plus move, and occasionally we used we did use Sprint once and we used Surefeet a couple of times, but most of the time we didn't really need it. So, there you go. Um, that lowers our team value to 1430, which is a little bit better. Um, there's not really anything else we can drop that we can afford dropping. Uh, Masaru and Cerno we have to keep. Uh, Anastasis we definitely need to keep. Um, 
Yeah, I'm def definitely keeping Anastasis. Even if I don't roll a double for the next level up, I, I need... These skills are good. Mighty Blow and Grab are both really good and very reliable. So, I think we're good to go. Um, we could also go with just one left Goblin, but... We'll probably need all the people we can get. Alright, um, our next match is going to be against the Skaven team. They are more developed, so we're going to probably have our work cut out for us. But uh, enough rambling. Um, I'll need to update my roster, because we did a lot of changes here. But uh, I am the Depressed Eeyore, and this was um, Blood Ball Chaos Edition. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.